17 naira. Is that all your mother gave to you? Yes. Hi. Now, what your mother you now? 17 naira after all this work. But I'm not fine, no, I'm not fine. What is the problem? But I see no brother Mike. I, I, I went to his shop to collect money for food. He said he only had 17 era. Is that why you're frowning? Mary, I have told you not to disturb brother Mike again when it has to do with money. I told you brother Mike is facing some difficult situation with his work. Eh? I've always told you if he wants anything money, come to me. Come and meet me. Oh brother, he is he not our elder brother? He should take care of us. Brother, me, I'm tired of disturbing you. I'm tired of disturbing you. Am I complaining? Am I? Yeah? See, Mary, everything I do for this family, I do because of love. If I have all it takes to move this family, why won't I do it? Yeah? We are all one. Okay, what do you want? Money. How much? One fine. One fine. Yeah. 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 One family. How? Didn't you take the water and salt solution I told you to take that night? I did. But I don't know. You know, I think things like that don't just work for my system. I don't know why. Jesus Christ. How do I face this? Hey. Hey. What do we do? Honestly, I don't know. No, you don't know how. You will know in this one. You will know, don't you know what I mean? And the biggest issue here is that I, I, I don't want my mother to find out. And she might find out anytime soon. You know, you know how she is. Hey! What an irresponsibility. Hey!
You uh, will know that you are all I have in this wide world, apart from uh, your cousin. But you know what we You know that. And that is why I have made every effort and I have, I have said that I will secure your brighter future. I don't think you are in place. I want you to go to school. You know? All right. So, every crop you sell, eh? every, every money you get from your sales, you will put them to get jumbo. So that this year, it will not pass this year. You will secure your brighter future. You will do take your exam. You know, and pass and do your registration into the university. Eh? So we sell everything. I want that to be here. I don't know. Oh? Yes. Oh. Okay. 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 Am I going to sell the power fruits to myself? Hey! I'm i As you're looking at me now, I don't have any penny saved anywhere in the whole world. So how can I afford it? Where will I get money to pay the bride price? 
and carry out the traditional marriage expenses. Ah, I cook one amulu mef. See, brother, I have some savings, and I know it will be enough to take care of the red rice, and maybe some other important traditional rice too. Maybe when we arrive in life later, we can take care of traditional marriage. Victor, you're my backbone. Ugoziegi. God bless you. I am you, I am you, you and me, we're together, one family. I am happy for you. I'm not happy for you because you impregnated her. But because you impregnated her and you want to marry her before her tummy starts showing. And I can't be really happy. So in that case, I will go with you to her father's house. You know? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Auntie. Thank, Thank you, Auntie. You. God bless you. Bless you too. And I also want to tell you that I am not only your father's sister, younger sister. I'm also your mother because when I carried you, when your father died, I carried you. We were very, very small, small children. Before I even had my own children, I carried you. Eh? No go. So you are like my own children. Whatever I can do for your late father, I will do it for you people. No. Sitting here all alone, lost. I've been searching for you. But I'm not thinking. Just that I have a lot of things in mind. You have a lot of things in mind. What is that? Brother, but I'm not happy with Brother Mike. I'm not happy that he wants to take a wife when he has not finished taking care of his younger ones. Come on, Mary, don't be reasonable. Brother, okay, see, when I passed my wire, he promised to see me through school. Um, okay, what do you want me to do now? You should be happy that your 35-year-old brother is taking a wife. See, most of brothers live in the village. All married. Long time ago with children. It's even a big shame to this point that my elder brother cannot marry because of money. But I know. I know. Since he has money for wine can he should at least contribute to family upkeep. Instead of leaving the whole loss for you. See, everything I do for this family, I do because of love. They're all the same. Eh? Calm down, okay? It's well, everything will be fine. Oh? Oh? Uh, one more. This one you're carrying, basket and hood, this early money. Well, I give money. Uh -huh. <laughs> we are. Going to the farm to have a seminar. I see. Yes. I see. Okay. Okay. But when you return from the farm, please help me. Okay, but I promise you I'll be there. Cause you are me, I am you, I am you, you are me. We're together. One family. If you smile, I will smile. If you cry, I'll cry, we're together.
already. Yes, I have a customer waiting for me at the workshop, so I need to be there immediately. But you have not given me the money I asked for. Money for food? Yeah. But don't worry, I gave Grace enough money that will buy us food store that will last us for a while. Ah, but why now? I love him. Listen, Grace is a it's not wise if she's at home. You go and show my kitchen. Okay, mother's kitchen is not her own, eh? Yeah? Mary! 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 Please come and help me uh, wash the trees while I go on the house. Mary, are you alright? Do I look sick to you? Sorry, oh, that's not what I meant. I just meant that you're not looking too happy. Is everything alright? Yes. Listen, I don't owe you any explanation, so stop asking. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, you. Oh. Just help me wash the vitamin. That's all. I should help you wash the vitamin. Since you are fast enough to collect money from my brother, you should be able to wash it yourself. Do the people alone and do it fast. I don't want to pay you your money. Eh? It's just that business has been dull for a long time now. And we don't have money. Because... Look, I understand. Eh? That was why I advised you the last time. Eh? Since you're finding it difficult to pay the whole money at once. Why not be paying me the money? 200 naira every day. Before one month, you would have cleared up your debt. Okay, Mike, I understand you. But I am thinking that since a bottle of beer is also 200 naira, you can stop by every evening after work and take at least one bottle. Before a month, you would have collected all your money. You can one them. Huh. At least let's do it that way. That I should stop by every evening to drink beer until I complete 5,500 naira. My money for the clean job I did for you. Just do it for me. Eh? What else do you expect me to say or do? I expect you to pay me my money. Because there's no day that you don't kill at least one goat here for the pursuit. How much gain do I get from pepper soup now? How much gain do I get from that pepper soup? You should be answering that question, not me. Mm. But again, I'm a family man now. I know. I'm married. I know. And an expectant father for that matter. I'm in serious need of money now. A way go gym now. <laughs> I'm going now. 
But if I return in 10 days' time and my money is not ready and complete, Madam Jane, you will not find it funny with me. Oh, my please calm down. No, I will pay you. Oh, you find it funny. Biko. Michael DK. <laughs> Johnson. Johnson Ibe. <laughs> <laughs> My brother. Uh, One minute. Johnson. Uh, is this really you? It's me, oh, it's me. Where have you been? I have not been around for some years now. See, I only came back last week from my father's burial. Which is why I'm actually rushing to finish up my building. Yeah, my brother. Sorry, oh, sorry about your father. Nobody no, knew you where you put your head. <laughs> you know how it is now. You, you know? know? You know how it is. <gasps> actually, I went to SA, South Africa. You look it. You look every yeah. inch of it. You look it. <laughs> Nana, wow. No. <laughs> now, I'm glad to see you. I'm yeah, glad to see likewise, you. Likewise, me. Likewise, likewise, That's me. nice. <laughs> so, what's up with you? Where are you going? What do you do? Where are you coming from? Well, I'm just coming from my workshop. Going home. What's your name? Yes, going to my house. Hmm. Hi. I just have to let you know that I think she, she doesn't really like me anymore ever since we got married. You know, she has suddenly turned cold on me. And this was a girl that used to call me sister. She was very friendly when we were dating. So I don't know. It's okay, it's okay, don't worry. Eh? Mary is just a kid though. I'm quite no like that. I'll talk to her. I'm sure we thank you. After the supply, okay, I waited for my money for about two months. And when it was not forthcoming, I traveled to see my customer. Only to hear that the man and his family were attacked by armed robbers mm -hmm. who took away all their money and killed the man. When I came back, I had to sell the only piece of land my father left for me in order to settle the debt. You know, the money I borrowed to supply the goods. And then the balance, I used to open the workshop since I had experience in uh, furniture making. Hmm. That's the sad story. My brother, we go life in the house. Hmm. 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 The truth is, <laughs> you simply cannot continue like this. No, well, that's my prayer, honestly. As you know, my late father was a high chief yeah. and a lot of dignitaries are expected at his burial. Much is expected of me as the first son in the first son. As it is right now, I'm still around. But I'll be traveling back to SA in two weeks' time. I promise to tag you along if only you are able to raise the money for your ticket, your passport and your visa. Yes. I will carry you along to South Africa and take care of your shelter and your feeding until I'm able to introduce you to my line of business. Johnson, <laughs> you will take me to South Africa? <laughs> yes, I will. That is if you are able to raise the sum of 300,000 Naira in two weeks' time. <laughs> <laughs> my brother, this is the best shot of my life. But unfortunately, I'm just going to sit back and watch it pass by. God forbid. It will not pass you by. 
we have to work hard and see what God will do for us. He didn't get me correctly. I said I need 300,000 for visa, passport, and ticket, and it must be ready in two weeks' time. I understand. I understand. But you should also know that there is nothing too hard for God to do. Yes. So you have to pray hard. And then let the rest to God. I like your faith. I like your faith. But faith in that work is dead, you know. That's why I said you have to work hard. Work hard. We're in it together. I understand me too. I have an unfinished work at the workshop. Yeah. Bye bye. I left some money on the table for lunch and dinner. Hey! Is it working? Hey! But I'm doing it. Oh, my little working. on my way to my workshop. Okay. But I didn't see you this morning. You left very early. I hope all is well. Yes, all is well though. You know, uh, considering the money issue, I've decided that I will be coming to work very early every day until I raise the money. Okay. Don't worry, brother. God is good. Amen. Amen. Okay, let me run. Can you let me run for I promise you I'll be there. Cause you are me, I am you, I am Mike, Mike, you are this rock play now. Who is who is playing with you? Eh? Who is playing here, Michael? So you want to turn me to a widow, eh? You want me to give birth to a fatherless child? What oh, rubbish are you talking about? Who is dying here? Can't you walk? Can't you walk? Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of this? I, I, I told you that I have to get off. That I have to go and collect my money from today. Let me go. Was it something? I was talking. What's my wife? Oh, huh? I want to be a bit on guard this morning. Mm -hmm. My wife, what's the problem? Your brother is shouting at me because I'm insisting that he must eat something before he goes to work today. And I can't. I said I cannot. Because I have some clients to meet. Oh no, come on, I'm not No, dear. My wife, I understand your concern. Just come leave him. Come leave him. But the mic is an adult. He knows what is good for him. Look, he, he's been doing this for the past eight days. He will wake up in the morning, leave home without food, and still come back on empty stomach, claiming he has no appetite for food. 
Okay, this morning I had to wake up early to prepare his favorite meal, yet he still will not eat. I want to call them. Oh, Do you have anything to eat at the show? No. Look where? No. But look, we have Osondo. Osondo are wicked. I, I have more important things in my mind. Eh. And then you think that starvation will bring us 300,000 naira where? See, brother, you, don't have, you won't kill yourself. You have to slow down. See, me, I'm making efforts here. I'm struggling too. Wait, do I have barely four days to miss a lifetime opportunity. I'm only an alcohol. And you refuse to pay me my money. Okay. Hi, people, what can you do this? People say I'm doing this. Don't do this to me now. People. Okay, what? What? Ah! Wait, let me bring your money before you push me back from this morning. Oh. Nice. Give me my money. And don't touch my shoes again. Give me the money. No. And get out of my shop. But I'm again. You get out of my shop every weekend. No, stop. So you had my money all this while. And you were allowing me to be coming here every day to look for it. For very weekend. And a wicked man, too. And a very wicked, wicked man. You can get out of my shop. Stupid man. I've seen everything. I'll offer you 70,000. This workshop is worth more than that. Okay, please, please just add 30,000 naira for me. I know the workshop is more than 100,000 naira, but I need the money back. Eh? Because of here that was said. I can only afford 70,000 naira. If you know what, I'm deliver. Uh, yeah. Can I have the money? Okay, let's go. Thank you. Thanks for the ride, eh? Oh, um, Major. I must commend you, you have tried. But I think you have to try harder because we have just four days to go. Sorry, my brother. Money is not easy to come by now. I've tried my best. I've tried my best. I understand. I really understand you. I, I wish there is something I can do. But as you know, the burial and my new house took a lot off me. As it stands right now, I'm flat broke. Completely broke. I understand. Johnson, you're a good friend. Huh? Let me let me go and continue working out. Okay. And thank you. to me and our born baby you eh? Mike Mike if you knew you did not love me enough then why did you come to pay my bride price now? Eh? Oh, you worry too much go and sleep now please. I said let's go and sleep together brother my wife I'm supposed to 
still doing outside. He's late now and it's cold. Can't see more. It's your brother. Hmm. He's not only stabbing himself, but the past one week he has also not been sleeping well. Ah, hmm. uh, brother Gedos. You want to kill yourself? Vic, <laughs> what death could be worse? And when a man cannot raise money to secure his job, even after selling all his assets, including his workshop. Did you sell your workshop for a miserable seventy thousand naira? She goes in the morning. What was she doing? I don't know. Any and all, No, this is a hacker. Why did you start uh, cooking yam? Mama, I said, let me boil the yam and pound it. By then, you will be back. So we okay, can start preparing. I said, wait for me when I come back. I'm not a milk. So that we will bring vegetable for soup first. Eh? So what did you say? How are your brothers? <coughs> huh? everybody is fine now, except for brother Mike, who is almost losing his mind because of the huge amount of money he needs to travel abroad. Mm. Since when did he decide to go abroad to travel overseas? Oh, Mama. Since his childhood friend offered to help him, if if only he's able to raise three hundred thousand. Three hundred guinea. My Where does he expect that poor carpenter to to get three hundred uh, guinea uh, thousand naira from? Ocho kuzo ribiko no. Mama, mama, come on, he jump, jump. All I notice that is that brother Mike is almost losing his mind at all his efforts to raise the money put across him. Jesus! He sold his only source of income. My mother didn't come out. He sold his workshop. He didn't come out. So, he didn't come out. 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 I came as soon as I got your message. They are my kid. What is this I hear about you selling your only source of income just to travel abroad? I'm sorry that I've not come to discuss it with you. I was waiting to raise the money first before I come to tell you. But in that's you. Do you think, Michael, that it is wise to abandon your wife, your newly married wife, with your unborn child just to travel abroad? Okay. I don't intend to abandon them, God forbid. My idea of going to South Africa is to work hard to secure a better future for all of us. Auntie, can you imagine that? Till this my age is Victor, my younger brother, that is still catering for all of us while I sit back and watch. Yeah, 
I know that you just don't sit back and watch, that you work very, very hard. Mama. And that you know that Victor, your younger brother, is not complaining. Is Mama. he complaining? He will not complain. Even if you push him to the point of death, Victor will not complain. Victor Abuke is born man. Mm -hmm. He will not complain. If I go to South Africa, I am sure that our lives will never be the same again. I'm going there to change our lives. If only I can raise the 300,000 right? If I can raise it, our lives will change. You want 300,000? When you have sold your property, how much did you realize? Mm -hmm. So far, about 100,000 man. 100. 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, 400,000. Nothing means as much to me as the love we share. And anytime I hear your call, I promise you. If you smile, I will smile. If you cry, I will cry. We're together, one family. You are me, I am you. I am you, you are me. We're together, one family. If you smile, I will smile. If you cry, I will cry. We're together. If you smile, I will smile. If you cry, I will cry. We're together, one family. Oh, you are me. I am you. I am you. You are me. We are together, one family. If you smile, I will smile. If you cry, welcome. Taking your expensive rubbers. Um, I don't know how rat found his way into my box. Huh? Um, I found their way into my 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 box, so I want to go and mend them. In uh, that, um, you remember that old them? I want to go and mend them. Let me take them to my shop tomorrow and I will repair them in my shop. No, you don't know how to, to sew old uh, Abata Rapa and George. You go near me to You go for that one. I don't know how to do it. Well, that's all you're saying I'm a trader and need to get. I didn't say so. I didn't say so at all. Is it not you that sewed this dress? I wonder. Yeah, now it's fine now. Beautiful dress. But uh, you're too young to know how to sew my Rapa. If you sew it. I'll be too slim on it. won't enter me again. Mama, these clothes are too expensive. I'll to carry out all out. I'll leave them for me. Show them. You know that. Oh, oh Mama, I leave my own bag alone. Okay. Oh, what are they doing? What is that? Go eat your wrap and your beef. All your things are just going bad. They're not going bad, though. It's not my thing, though. It's my beef and my wrap. Go eat your wrap and your beef. Mama, mama, don't stay, don't stay long outside. Oh. Okay. Let me not look for you. Okay. Mama. Let me not look for you. Oh, oh, mama. Come back to you. Yes. My so my boy. You have finished it. That's my okay. That's my thank you. Um, which one do you think? 
Joy. Rose. Rosa. Ma. Che, yes. I want to ask to you, two of you, two of you, for a special favor. I want you, two of you, to suspend your jam this year. Check what check on our jump on the I want to. I know we have uh, some savings from that uh, palm fruit we are selling. Me, I carry it to the market and sell it. And uh, I want you to join your savings from that your sweet. And I'll join my own savings from selling my personal property. I jump up them together. Eh? I will give it to Mike. Yeah. He um, has special need for it. Right? Mama. Oh, Mama. Mm. We have some savings. Yes. But it's been three years. Mama, three good years since we left secondary school. We are still here to write jam. Our mates are all in the university. And you're asking us to suspend writing jam again this year. It's not fair now, Mama. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. Like I said it before. Your cousin Mike has a special need for this man. He wants to travel abroad and go and do business and come back and with plenty of money. And next year, you yeah, do your job. No problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, though. Don't tell me you sold all those clothes I saw you take out earlier. Hey! I don't believe this. Mama. Jesus! So you can offer such sacrifice to your nephew while your children have need of it to secure our future. Hey, Mama, you did wicked, my friend. You are wicked. Shut it, Joe. Did you not know hear what she just said? Who are you? Why did you not know hear what she just like said? She your mate. Did you not know hear what Mama just said? Did you not know hear all the things that she sold? Oh, so I'm the one that's not going to go and do my tailoring abroad. Take your own and get out. Mama, I'm not part of this. No, I'm not part of this, Mama. Hey! Mama, but you didn't have to say that. It is a pity I have sold that. But you are not open understanding me. You understand me. So you should, you should tolerate. When he travels and comes back, it will be plenty of good. You know, we do things like one family. Who are you from them? No. You are all the same ten and ten pounds to me. Whether you are my son, or you are my daughter, or you are my little niece and nephew. Stand check the same ten and ten pounds. Who more will come? Mama,
Victor, you're home. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, wow. Let me tell you because I have to give you this. Uh, this is all my savings. It's 70,000 Naira. And this is 150,000 Naira I realized from the sale of my car. Please, brother, take all of them. Add it to the 100,000 you have already so you can make your trip to South Africa. If you smile, I will smile. If you cry, I will No, you are not. Brother, I love you so much. And there's nothing I cannot do to make you happy. Provided it's within my reach. I sold you only car just to help me. Hey! Hey! You are me. I am you. I am you. You are me. We're together. One family. If you smile, I will smile. Victor has given me the greatest shock of my life. Yeah. Victor emptied his safe and sold his only car just to make sure I don't miss my trip to South Africa. Yeah. Victor. Is that true? Oh, your only car. Yeah. Oh, Joy. I hope everything is okay. If you cry, You're welcome. Um, Mama asked me to give you this money. Hmm? She says it's just 50,000 oh. naira. No, for him? It's all she could realize from the sale of her clothes and wrappers. Oh, 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 Bless you my brothers me. and sisters. Whatever they do, I bless them. You've shown me that if my trip to South Africa will be successful. And when I come back, I will wipe the way poverty in their lives. Amen! The tears and sacrifice they have made will use me to bless them abundantly. Amen! Auntie. My siblings and I are here to properly inform you that uh, I'll be making the journey to South Africa. Since God has used you and my brother to provide 270,000 naira for me. Auntie. I want to thank you immensely for your love and concern towards us since our parents died. I want to also appreciate you for your selling your wrapper and using your savings that is meant for my cousin's exam just to ensure that I did not miss this golden opportunity. And God bless you. See, eh, Michael, what I do for you people is more than anything in this world. Honestly. Selling my Abada or my judge is nothing. Eh? It's nothing compared to giving you opportunity in life. Okuema. As for uh, your cousin's exams, they can always take it another time. Yeah? Because it's not every day that people have opportunity of traveling abroad. Or and getting their visa to travel. So opportunity and why you will not miss you. Hmm? Auntie, yeah. I will not forget this kindness for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. What I'm just begging you people is that you will 
will continue to pray for me. But when I get to South Africa, so that God will help me to make it, and I will come back and plant smiles on all our faces in mm -hmm. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, no. Let your family pray for you. You don't know. Very simple, Mama. Since you have chosen to secure the future of other people before our own, let those people go to the farm for you. Let me see trouble. See, why is it very difficult for you to understand that these people are your blood and blood? Which blood? Your blood. Which blood? Mama, please forget that thing. You think I don't know that you're looking for excuses for denying me my future? Hey! Shut up. Mojo. Bad child. Bad mouth. That is what you are. Don't forget what I did to you the other day. So, Mama is denying you your future, be? The same mama that worked so hard right from the day you were born. Rosa, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. What is it? Is it not simply because I told this girl to go to the farm and have us make a summer? And she has been running her mouth, church church like a motorcycle. Did I run my mouth? Did I run my mouth? I'm still running your mouth. Don't worry. I'm going to harvest it. I'll do it myself. Mm. Yes. Thank you, Mom. God bless you. I'll be in this house and watch you eat from it. Rosa, I will stay in this house and watch you eat from it. I will eat. Go to the farm. Farmer, come back here. Where are you going to? Joy, Mama is here and you're Joy, Mama, you? Who do you think you're going to? You want to walk out on Mama? I'm warning you. You want to walk out on Mama? Remember what I did to you the other day. I'm warning you. Do it again. Rose, do it oh, again. Come on, this one. Diggy Tiger. Oh, two up one more. Leave it. I'm warning you. Diggy Tiger. Diggy Tiger. Diggy Tiger. I can't see ya. Mana, mana. Mana, Diggy Tiger. Diggy Tiger. Mama, I'll go. I'll have a seat.
Maria Nekesh. Where have you been? Ah, I traveled to visit my grandmother. Oh, just so thoughtful of you. How is she? Oh, she's fine, no. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh -huh. That reminds me, my friend. What is this rumor I hear about our husband traveling? <laughs> Yeah, my mic has travelled to South Africa. Oh. <laughs> and you are happy, eh? Eh? Who wouldn't be? Eh? Ha! My dear, I would so. Ah, uh Because -uh. I can't afford to be dumped by a man in the name of South Africa. Ha! Or don't you know that immediately he steps out there? Bam! He gets himself a white wife. <laughs> and before you know it, Grace, you are history. No. No, my mic is not like that. Mm. <laughs> and I'm sure it's written all over his face. <laughs> Listen, my I'm not trying to make you feel bad. Ah! Chineke Kekola no job. I'm just being realistic. And what is realistic about the rubbish you've just uttered? Eh? eh? You mistake of a woman. Maria Nekwensu. Why are you so full of bad news? Let me ask you. So because my my brother did not make the mistake, the worst mistake of his life, by seeking you rich, say why? Eh? You now decide to fight back. You're eh? happy, yeah? By trying to spoil his wife's mind. Joe or whatever they call you. Respect yourself. Oh. Respect yourself and mind your business. Because I will not talking to you now. My friend, shut up. Me, shut up, eh? But deep that hole you call him out into your business and leave other people alone. Mm -hmm. Are you not a witch? Yes. Witch, you shut up! Witch! Yeah. Leave other people alone. This moment I warn you. Hmm. Reach. Let's go. Look at this moment. Hey. Hey. Joy, it's really becoming too much for Maria, and uh, I don't like it. But anyways, don't worry. Once I'm done with what I'm doing now, I will go over to her house and warn her seriously to stay away from my family or else she will have me to contain. I don't accept that. I'll advise you not to go anywhere. Because as for Maria, I gave her what she deserved today. So no need. Leave her. Anyways, I trust you. Go no, come. Is that why it's like me to cry? And who wouldn't cry? Who wouldn't? Have you forgotten how poisonous the mouth of that about Have you forgotten? But I showed her. Hmm. I showed her. You're right, my sister. Huh. My way is nothing but a lousy village gossip. And the village frustrated single mother who can't find herself a man to live with. Eh? How is just too much? Very enjoy told me about your encounter with my brother. Your body told me that you felt so bad. Right. And then you left me to wonder, why on earth would you take the words of a frustrated woman like Maria to heart? Why? Somebody like Maria? I mean, that has been her specialty. That's what she does, going around the whole village gossiping marriages. Maybe because she needs one, or she's not married. My wife. I want you to overlook all those things and think of a small scale business you can manage for now. Until things get better for other folks. Oh? <laughs> Thank you very much, my husband. You're welcome. And I really want Mary not to go to Maria's house. I don't want for the trouble. Okay. Thank you so much. This is the guy that will be supplying the goods in South Africa that you'll be sending back to Nigeria. 
Jesus! I cannot deceive you. See, you are not the first person to sponsor somebody abroad in this village. We all have made the same mistake. When they get there, they forget us completely. Chinedu, my family story is going to be a different one. Okay? See, we are united in my family. And we share everything. Okay? And we stand in for each other at any time. That was exactly what we thought when we sent Timo, my half brother, to UK. So the problem with is that you find it very difficult to understand the difference between your family and my own family. If your family is filled with pretenders and backstabbers, we we're not like that. See, we love each other so much. Eh? We love ourselves. We do everything in common. It's just in our nature to help. Besides. Mike is my blood and immediate elder brother. Not my cousin. Not my kinsman. My elder like that, okay? Yeah, I'm very close. Oh, happy family. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't feel like mine. How long will you be? My family is full of pretenders and stuff. So, give me your girl. Store is better than food stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, store. Me? Mm -hmm. Food stuffs all the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because of your your useless. <laughs> <laughs> if you see, you're eating that bit. Eh? You don't need to tell me. <laughs> yes, it's true. It's true because for a man with a family, and then expect aunt's mother at that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you need a business that will fetch more income for the family. Mm, better ones. Mm. And I also know that the reason why you are insisting on food stuff, store, so that you finish my goods in one week. Confess. Confess. Okay. Only for Saturday. 
You see? You, you, you see? You're supposed to say 10 times a day. <laughs> Help me ask <laughs> 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 that. has cell phone and call credits at their back and call. See, he has to settle down first, get a good job, and the roof over his head before calling us. So relax. Oh, but he can at least call with his friend's phone or something. Hello. He's his friend now. He's going his friend, his friend's phone. My wife relax. But then he may know, he may. He may just continue to pray that he's fine wherever he is. Of course he's fine. I'm very, very optimistic he's fine. God will see him through. Amen. Big. 
If you really love me, why don't you come and see my parents instead of this hide and seek game we've been playing? So you know I love you. Honestly, you know I do. But I have a problem. I have money. You know, I don't have all it takes to come and see your people. But forget about all it takes to come and see my people. Forget about the luxury and merriment of traditional marriage. And just come and see my parents first, do the basics. Then, maybe in future, if things get better, we'll solve the rest. How are you? <laughs> uh, no. It's one that your face is like a dancing. What is wrong? But you're not feeling fine. Chai. Uh, uh, how is it to do you? I've been having this uh, waist ache. Terrible waist ache. And I've been throwing up since morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also have this burning sensation, like fever. As in for the one of throwing you up. Why in the lar now, but I can get it through up. Some come differently, some come differently. No, it is not a disease. Uh, but this is your burning fever. I don't like it. I think you should see doctor. I need to see doctor. Uh, uh, I don't want to see him. Uh, but where is everybody? Why did they leave you on the road? Uh, um, Victor went to the workshop and Grace uh, went to the shop. Mm -hmm. And they leave you on I actually told Mary to go. Mm. Okay. No. I brought something for you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And, yeah. Huh? You are beautiful food. Have you eaten? Mm. And see no appetite. Mm. This yes. one you will really like it. Hey. It's a little bit so fun. Mm. Yeah. Plenty of meat and uh, yeah. mandala. <laughs> you want to eat now? Oh, yeah. Little bit of meat. Yeah. Okay. Hello. 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 I was on my way to Mboko's house. Mm -hmm. and they have a baby out there. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I said, let me bring my wife a beautiful <laughs> soup. Thank <laughs> you, <laughs> Maybe we should go and maybe we should go and open studio for you people so you can start singing. Hey. 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 And praise the Lord. Hey, but brother, what are you doing here? Ah. Yeah. Hey. Please, is it a crime? I mean, am I not allowed to visit my wife's shop again? You are, brother. Don't no, mind them. No oh. Like <laughs> brother, it's not like that. But I know you now. You can't leave your shop just like that by this time of the day. Well, you're right. You're right. You see, I went to see my my friend Janet. Yeah. So on my way back, I decided to check on you guys. Ah, to beg. Hey, I'm brother. Car was a little jealousy, jealousy, jealousy. Please, where's my wife? Uh, she's at home. She's not feeling too fine, so she decided to stay back. Hmm. What is wrong with her? Well, don't worry. I, maybe I will go home and check on her. I know how she's feeling. Okay. All right. What well, you say, you get on? Okay. Bye, bye. Hey. 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 Stage of her pregnancy.
pregnancy, she shouldn't be undergoing stress. So doctor, please, what can we do to save the mother and the child? To be frank with you, she is going through an uncontrollable high blood pressure. The best bet for us is to conduct a CS to remove mother and child, at least to make them safe. CS? Doctor, which one is CS? That's surgery in layman's terms. But the baby is barely seven months. I mean, it's not nine months. Uh, yes, we'll put the baby in an incubator until the baby attains maturity. Okay. Okay, in that case, no problem. Now let's let's go on with the with the surgery. Oh uh, yes, we have to make um, payments first before we list. Doctor, please. We can go on with the surgery. I will get the money, trust me. This is my elder brother's wife and the husband is not around. I will do everything humanly possible to get to the money as soon as possible. Please just go on, carry on, please. Well, please. I'm sure that I can do. Thank you. Hi. Now, how are you? I'm fine. And how are you coping with all these your younger ones and uh, uh, your brother's wife and your wife? We are fine. Uh, God is great. Uh -huh. We are coping. You see, you can. Oh. Yes, ma'am. The Lord is your strength. Amen. You know? mm -hmm. uh, but the last year, eh? Michael. I thought that by now Michael would have been sending money to you to take care of your younger ones and uh, uh, the pregnant wife. Why is he not sending money? Obviously, overseas, he be a corner. What is happening? Making money abroad is not that easy. See, first of all, he has to settle down, get a roof over his head, then get something doing before he will start thinking about sending money. I understand. Well, but that's not the reason I'm here. Yeah. Yes, Mama, I want to tell you that that my piece of land by by the village square, uh -huh. I want to sell it. Chineke has a Chineke. Bano. That is the only piece of land your papa left for you. Who will also? But see, first thing first, I need to raise money for Grace's surgery. And I don't have another source. I don't even know how to raise it. The money is, is, is too much. But that's my only option. Okay, if I sell it and take care of her now, maybe one thing settle later, I can still buy another piece of land. Alright. Maybe can one. You're just like my mother, you and uh, your sister. Oh, to a girl, to me. Me, my mom. My father wasn't too tough. Oh, my mom, to go to go be able to come I don't know. Well, let's go to mom. Thank you, God bless you. Stop playing, boy. I know that the amount is too much, but believe me, there is nothing God cannot do. And you have to stop crying. Please stop crying. And the Victor is out there. She wants to raise me. We have to pay the first thing for the children. Maybe I need to stop crying. Please. 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 And any time I hear your call, I just want you to know that I really appreciate all you've been doing for me and my child ever since I came into this family. You did not only wipe away shame from my face by giving your brother money to pay my bad price. You have been providing for me without complaints. Huh. Wait, what's that for? 
now you sold your only lamb just to save my life. Hmm? Where do I start from? Same way you emptied your savings, sold your car to make sure that my husband travels abroad. Victor, I can't thank you enough. You don't have to start listing uh, all the things I do for you and your husband. See, it gives me enormous joy. I have this fulfillment when I see both of you smile. Yeah? And as for selling my piece of land to save your life and that of my nephew, come on. It's my responsibility now. If I don't do it, who will? Yeah? So please. Stop talking, okay? I'm fine. We talk. God will bless you. He will bless you. Bless you. He will bless you over and over and over. Uh, he will stop blessing you. Amen. Bless you. Amen. You're such a wonderful cousin, and I love you so much. I know that Mary will be here soon. Nothing means as much to me. As the love we share. It's been two months after the surgery. And I'm so grateful to God that you are fine. Likewise, my nephew. Thank God. <laughs> and I think it's about time I relate to you people my intentions to settle down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 That is the best news I've heard this month. <laughs> hey. you. you all know I've found my missing ring. In my beautiful Janet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to go and see her before by a weekend. I'm battery for the moon you back here. Brother, <laughs> weekend too. But why not tomorrow tomorrow? No, seriously. I'm here, I'm gonna be alone. I'm gonna be alone. No, but seriously, Victor, we can no way to have her as one of us now, ne? Yeah. <laughs> but this is the weekends around the corner. Hey! Let's do this up there. Hey! So we can do that to go. Hey! 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 Something wonderful has happened in my life. What? My wife delivered a big baby boy. Big baby! Yes, sir. A big baby boy. <laughs> hey! Gina, I can't know. Hey! Gina, I can't know. I came to inform you, 
so that you can come and help us out now, you know. The yes, so oh, you can you put it up and you might you put it back. So right there, wait. Right there, I'm not going to lie. Hey, I'm not going to lie. Hey, I'm not going to lie. But these girls have not come back from, what do they call it, market. But it doesn't matter. Their marriage rights in grand style, <laughs> and there is another celebration. Another celebration today. We are celebrating the return of Mike from overseas after so many years there. He has gone and he has returned and he has conquered Naira. Dollar, you can say that again. Dutchman, <laughs> <laughs> and he has come back very, very rich, and his wealth will touch all of us. Amen. <laughs> I think it is wise to use this opportunity to bless these marriages. Yes. Let us start up and pray. We pray that this senior has been blessed to remain blessed. Amen. Amen. May the Almighty God guide them and protect them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for celebration. Feel free. Enjoy yourself.
this is heaven. Well, you've not seen anything yet until you take a look around. Oh, you see, I know Grace and Junior will love this place. So will Janet and Junior. Yeah. My brother, I already live in a mansion. So why would I buy this if not for you and your family? Me and my family? No, 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 brother. No. Everything that is in it is yours. <laughs> Are you serious? You bought this mansion for me and my family? Oh, oh, brother, come on. We don't deserve this much. This is too much. Big, you deserve even more. I will leave me big with cash. Who leave me? Who leave me? Who? Wait, wait, wait. I drove to this place with this jeep to pack it here forever for you and your family. Oh God, oh God. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mine? Me, I love you. I love you, you and me. We're together, one family. My gay man said you wanted to see me. Yes, madam. I'm from Jess Food Mart. And we have an order to supply this item to one Mrs. Janet Dickey. To me? From who? Oh, it's for one Mr. Michael Dickey. Brother Michael, oh my God, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Oh God, thank you. Thank you, I'm grateful. Yeah. So we should be taking our leave now. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Take these things inside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. My dear, seriously, it's, it's a good business, so you know, only a food mart where you can supply goods to all your customers, everything they need to prepare a decent meal. Good. Do you know the one that tricked me the most? Mm. The fact that you do not need to stress yourself at all going to their store. All you need to do is contact them, give them a list of what you want, pay into their account, and <laughs> you just step. Nah, is that what you're talking about? <laughs> As in it, they surprised me. You don't know what they brought for me. Blended in pussy. Mm -hmm. 
blended tomatoes, yeah. vegetables, and all that. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Damn it. That reminded me of our little business back in the village. <laughs> <laughs> Those days. Hi. But, Janet, you know what? What? We can actually go into a combined business. I mean, do this business in a more bigger style. Yes. We can even go into more African items like Obe, <laughs> Oba. <laughs> no, 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 you know, for us to go into African stuff like that, we need to have a big store. We need to have loads of buses that will take the orders to the customers. Besides, we need plenty money. Where is the money? Eh? Have you forgotten? Eh. I also know that my husband has made more money to last us a <laughs> lifetime. <laughs> All you need to do. You know I know how industrious you are. Just be with me in this, eh? mm -hmm. And then I'll relate it with him tonight. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Uh, no. Since you're this serious about it, I'm interested. I'm I am <laughs> moving that hobby next to the next level. Next level. Oh. <laughs> hey! Oh my god! That's, that's true. Let's yeah. go pick the boys in school, from school. What? Three o'clock. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. case you will get 10 million naira to start. 10 million naira? You know, you know, the cost of doing business here is pretty hard. 10 million? But well, that's, that's, that's not that's too big. <laughs> thank you very much, brother. Thank you very much, girl. It's okay. You do a... Janet, we met with the agent I told you about, and he showed us a wonderful property, good enough for our food mart business. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Mm, that's nice. Mm. And you said you want to do this business with Janet. Ah, uh, yes, she's very industrious. And you know, back in the village, we actually ran the full stop business together. And we enjoyed working together. That's nice. Mm. That's nice. <laughs> so, okay, I'll make provision for that. You serious? Just give me some time, okay? Oh my god. <laughs> what can I do without you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just don't just need some time to sleep. You know, you never know you can't do this all without me this night. No, 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 no. I need to call you. I need to call you to sleep. So. Mm. to make any job after all the money we're now seeing. Sweet, I am mm -hmm. But you see, you guys don't understand me. This is what I love doing. I have passion for it. As a matter of fact, it's in me. I reject it for you in Jesus' name. Ha! It's not in you. Eh? If it was part of you before, it has been washed away. See, baby, this thing is not completely different. Importation of spare parts, it, it, it still has relation to mechanic job. It does. Yeah. You're such a genius, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, brother, I have decided to go into importation of motor spare parts. Okay. You know, as a mechanic, I think I will do very well in that line of business. I think so too. Yeah. Though, naturally, I would have still love to go back to my mechanic work. I love the job so much. Mm -hmm. Is it that you said you don't want it? No, 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 at all, at all, at all. I mean, as the only brother to a multi-millionaire like me, I find it rather belittling that you have to go back to that mechanic motion. Okay. So how much are we looking at here? Well, my contact said uh, with five to eight million naira, uh, I can start real good. Mm -hmm. Okay, in that case, you will get ten million naira to start. Ten million naira. You know, the cost of doing Nothing business here is pretty hard. Ten million? <laughs> well, that's, 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 that's too big! <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much, girl. It's okay. You do a... I am Janet. We met with the agent I told you about, mm -hmm. and he showed us a wonderful property, good enough for our food mart business. Oh, uh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. And you said you want to do this business with Janet. Ah, uh, yes, she's very industrious. And you know, back in the village, we actually ran the food stop business together, and we enjoyed working together. That's nice. <laughs> so, okay, I'll make provision for that. You serious? Just give me some time, okay? Oh my god. <laughs> what can I do without you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just don't just need some time to sleep. You know, you never know you can't do this all without me this night. <laughs> no, 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 no. I need to call you. I need to call you to sleep. So. Mm -hmm. to make any job after all the money we're now seeing. Sweet, I am mm -hmm. But you see, you guys don't understand me. This is what I love doing. I have passion for it. As a matter of fact, it's in me. I reject it for you in Jesus' name. 
Ha! It's not in you. Eh? If it was part of you before, it has been washed away. Ah uh ah. -uh. See, baby, this thing is not completely different. Importation of spare parts, it, it, it still has relation to mechanic job. It does. Such a genius, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'll do it Victor, it's nothing. Hi. It's nothing. It's nothing. Oh, brother, you just gave my life, honestly. You just gave my life to me. And I am very, very grateful. Victor, have a good day. Thank you. Have a good job. I have too many things to do here. <laughs> <laughs> Took all, 
all of it, all the hey. money. It's okay, it's okay, mm. it's okay. You don't be seen. Once there is life, there is hope. It's okay, it's okay. You don't understand. 10.5 million naira. They didn't allow the money to spend a night in my house. 10.5 million naira. It's okay. It's okay. It's what if you mean? I think they left. since the agent showed us the property and we were supposed to have paid up. Oh, that. Um, okay, mm -hmm. when I come back, we'll discuss about it. From work. And you've been posting notes. Oh. Yes, Janet and I. Must you do this with her? I mean, why can't you own this business alone? No, I, mean, I want to do this with her. I told you that we did it back together in the village and she was very industrious. She brings in different ideas and... Okay, okay. If you insist. to learn to move on. Take for instance, you have a golden opportunity of going to a business of your dream. Would you let it slip away like that just because you're scared of approaching Brother Mike for assistance? I am not scared. I'm ashamed. Don't you get it? See, barely a month, my brother gave me 10.5 million. All of a sudden, the money just vanished. Baby, I was there. Now tell me, what is the moral justification I have to stand before him and ask for another money? He even came with his wife in the morning. Have you forgotten? You still don't get it, sweetheart. 10.5 million naira. And I come up the next morning and sit before him and say, Brother, give me. Uh, major reason why I struggled and I'm still struggling to remain wealthy. I'm sorry brother, just a fact. I didn't know what your reaction would be like. But I gave you 10.5 million that was snatched by robbers, so what? Were you the ones that invited them to rob you? Tell me and I will pay. Well, it's alright. Now tell me exactly what you need the money for. Is it? There's this construction company a new friend of mine introduced me to. 
and they have offered to give me a contract to supply them some items. But this new friend of mine is regular in China and he has accepted, I mean he has offered to help me import these goods. So how much is it? 16 million naira. You see? See how you would have let such a life-changing deal pass you by just because of 16 million naira. <clears throat> Well, I'll give you the money. Thank you very much. No, 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 no. You shouldn't be thanking me. You should actually be thanking your wife. Yes, because she was the one who told me of the deal. your breakfast. I'm sorry, but I'm already running late. Baby, it was just a cup of tea and a few slices of bread. It, it won't take time. So I understand, but I can't. Don't you understand? I have to be on the way now. See, okay, don't worry. I'll back in a few hours, okay? Baby, this is what you always do. You always do that. See, you, you, you won't understand. It's time. Hey, boy. where his office is situated now. Look at me very well. Do I look like I care to know where he stays? Or do I look like I ever want to have anything to do with first us? So you see, you, you get it wrong here. Good luck is not a fraud star. Good luck is my friend oh. and a business associate. Good. Good luck is your friend. Then why asking me? Since you know he's your friend, then why asking me? Well, if you don't know, let me tell you. 
good luck has left with his family to the United States of America to pay three eligible businessmen. He even left with my six months rent. That good luck. Whenever I catch him, he will suffer. He will suffer. Just look at him. To my thoughts. He will suffer. Mr. Man, please don't come here again to look for good luck. Okay? This is the case. Mr. Man, that is the gate! That is my like, just look at the gate.
I kept on calling his number. He wasn't picking up. I was calling his phone. He wasn't picking up. Eventually, when he returned home last night, he was drunk. Before I could even ask him what the problem was, he passed out. If anything happens to him, I don't know what I will say. I don't know what I will say. Damn it. Calm down, please. You know I hate to see you like this, please. See, I just spoke to the doctor and then he said he, he, he was too stressed yesterday and he had a bit too much to drink. Okay, don't worry, he'll be fine. I don't know what I was saying. I don't know what I was saying. It is okay. <laughs> don't do this to yourself. Please. Please. Don't do this to yourself.
Ah, yes, we can go on with the surgery, but you have to make a deposit of three million. It's very important to deposit it to me fast, so we can facilitate the process of the surgery. Is there any problem? Uh, no, not not really, doctor. Is it? Uh, can you do one thing for me? Is it possible you can just carry on with surgery when yes. I go run around to make the money available? Yes, yes um, as soon as the deposit is made, the surgery will take place. You know, I'm not the surgeon here. Our surgeon would have to come down from the and uh, mm -hmm. we need to foot his bills. So once the deposit is made, we we'll go to the theater. me to come to his office. I have been there on three occasions. I have not been able to see him. I am talking to you. I am coming from his office now. Do you know the one that baffles me? Is that he has refused to take my calls. I just don't know what is happening. I am confused. He's not taking my calls. That's not true. Michael is in his office. Oh, he just called me about 30 minutes ago with his office line. And that's just about the time you said you were coming from there. Huh. So what is going on now? You're getting me more confused. You, you, you know what, Victor? Victor, listen to me. Victor, calm down, okay? I know, calm down, just calm down. Give me a little time to talk to him and I promise you, he will get right back to you. I can't believe you're doing this to yourself. Look, you of all people should know that this is not a time for tears, crying or sobbing. It is a time to go to God in prayer for a miracle. Look, starving yourself will not solve a thing. Please, calm down. Mm -hmm. Me to calm down. She wants me to calm down when my only pride of motherhood is dying. You ask me to calm down. <laughs> Don't worry, Janet. Junior will not die. I promise you, with God on us, that he will not die. Look, the money for his surgery will be made available first thing tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I'm quiet. I'm going to be okay. I'm smoking. I'm going to be okay. Did you hear the boy? Did you hear the little boy speak? I'm just concerned about the little boy dying because when Victor came, he was Grace. Was... You don't tell me that you love my brother's child more than I do. I'm just very busy with work and that's it. We're saying the same thing. You are busy with work. So why don't you just sign the check and then I'll take it to the hospital first thing tomorrow morning. And this is the best time to tell me that. Couldn't you have allowed me to at least eat first, then shower before you begin your sermon? I'm sorry, sorry. You see, I'm just Sebi. And far forget, you're calling me earlier and giving Junior the phone to say those disheartening things to me is unacceptable. Best thing tomorrow morning, okay? Don't worry, I said I'll get it across to you first thing tomorrow morning. Ha! I said he will not die in Jesus' name. That is not his portion. Don't worry yourself, just calm down. Take care of Junior and take care of yourself. I'll get the money across in the morning, okay? You're welcome, Victor. Well, 
you to remember how much Victor sacrificed to save my life and the life of our son. I mean, it would be really nice if you can, if you can reciprocate such kindness. I don't want to miss my appointment. I've told you. I'll settle things. And would that be after his death or something? Tell me something, Michael. If that were to be our son, in that hospital bed, dying, would you rather prefer your job over him? I don't even know your problem here. Why are you crying more than the bereaved? That guy is my nephew, not yours!
to that house eh? because if I could turn back the hands of time I wouldn't have stepped my foot into that evil town that wrecked my life and claimed the life of my only child calm down my son no, calm down I'm because I'm, it's a matter of time he will come back to his senses no he can as well remain senseless for the rest of his life hey, oh yes okay. see mama since my son died my brother only brother he has not touched his hands to call me on the phone. Or even call my wife. I Just because he gave me one and I lost it, Abby. Eh? I, I understand the best because the patient too. Mama, I don't understand. Sorry, Mama, what? please leave Brother Victor alone. Uh -uh. I know how he feels. It's just that you yourself, you want to put the fire. Okay. Brother, Mike has been wicked to him and his family. So it's only natural that he should feel bitter, Biko. Rose is right. I support her this time. Rose is right. You yes. don't want to go. Brother Victor wants to stay back in the village. Let's allow him. I'm talking about the village. Mama, no, why you are not If you let him stay. What has come over you? This is not the point I brought up. I did not bring you up like this. I'm talking to you, Michael. What demonic influence has come over you, Michael? Michael, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to somebody. Until you will not understand. Can make me understand. Make me understand what your kid brother has done. Where he has gone wrong. You're past caring about, about what is happening to him. It's bad enough that you, you couldn't give him money to save his son's life. This, this boy was there for you before you traveled. He took care of your wife and your son. Huh? Yes, six months after the burial of his own son, you, you, you told to ask him why? What is it? I love my brother. But. But what? Tell me, but what? I'm so ashamed of myself. I don't think I can ever face my brother again. Stay, let me give you food, you eat. No, it is late, you can't go. I will go. Mama, be coming. I'm going. I'm going. Mom, please, don't do it. I don't know how to get out of here. I'm back. Leave me alone. Mama, please, don't do it. 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 Mama, please
Blaming mama. Why don't you blame brother Mike who allowed her to enter the road that late? See it now. Hey. Mama, hey. what exactly happened to you? Ah, it's all I want to see uh, brother Mike and I had a accident too. Mm. I know how much you detest Okada. What led you to enter Okada in the first place? Uh, is it not talk of your brother Mike? I went to discuss some issue with the brother Mike. And when I got there, I noticed some strange, strange things happening in the house. So I said I will go. I left. When I left oh, that night, the wife was saying I should eat food that is beautiful food she cooked for me. I said no, I must go. Let me go to my house. So I left that night and took a night bus. By the time I got uh, to this place, you know, bus stop, bus stop in our place, there was no, no, no taxi. There was no bus to carry me home. The only thing that was there was uh, this year, Kenyana. Kenyana Pepe. Kenyana Pepe. Uh -huh. now, and the uh, Okada. So I chose the best option or the worst option, I don't know. That was very bad of my mind. Honestly, why did they allow you to leave their house by that time of the night? And this, they should have allowed you to sleep over. There were, like I told you before, strange things were happening in that house. So I refused by myself that I wasn't going to sleep. Strange things. Strange things. I don't understand. I don't know. I don't understand myself. But it's all so true to God. Well, why are you? Press it. Press it so that it's go. Um, your father was here last week and he complained bitterly about the misfortune you face presently. Yes, sir. So I asked him to tell you to come and see me. Because I have a token of $20,000. Yes, for you. Come $20,000 for me. No, that oh, come, 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 come. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, please. Don't want to sit down. Come on. Sit down. That will help you to start a new life. Oh my God. Okay, so. no, it's okay, okay. I will only advise that you use it wisely. Oh, Brother Mike, thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Okay. Oh, yes. Stop disturbing me. I am tired. I need to rest. I don't understand you. It's obvious that you are avoiding me intentionally. Thank God you know that I am avoiding you intentionally. <clears throat> and that is because you are being so wicked. I mean, what kind of a man would abandon his family and prefer to share his world with total strangers who know nothing about him or where he is coming from? The same you who refused to send Mary Scofis sent 200 bags of rice to an orphanage and bought their middle an expensive new jeep. Meanwhile, you have orphans in your immediate family striving to... Grace! You're talking to your husband. Michael, Dickie. Charity, they say, begins at home. And until you know that, I will stop treating you as a husband. Oh, 
We should praise him. Okonuma. We are praising God. I am not right. Can't you see me? I'm fine. Eh? Okay? Uh, that's your music. Uh, liver cirrhosis. Sadly, it's a medical condition that arises due to chronic hepatitis that wasn't treated. Okay. So, what can we do to help her? Hmm. To be honest with you, Mr. Victor, we cannot handle that situation here in this clinic. Eh? I would um, advise that you take her to a teaching hospital for proper medical and professional care. It would be better. Yeah, they have specialists to handle such situations. Oh, Jim. What is it? What is it, Mr. Beto? Hospital for proper medical attention. 
What exactly did he say is wrong with her? Don't. No. All I know is that the man is. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. It's almost 12 o'clock. Is Mike not coming again? Call him now. Call him on his phone. I don't like the way they're handling my mask case here in this hospital. Brother, good afternoon, sir. We well, are fine, brother. Brother, you said you are coming today to take Mama to the uh, city for proper medical treatment. What? You are on your way out of the, out of the country. Ah, uh, brother, no now. Okay, what do you want us to do now? As usual, it's not coming, right? How can you say such a thing? And to work is not the beach. She is just ill. Let me go and see her and say sorry before I leave. Please. Chime. Have I ever deceived you before? My son, I cannot deceive you. I am your father. And I'm telling you that that woman is a witch. She's a witch that everybody knows. Eh? If you don't want to believe me, can't you recollect the way the husband died mysteriously? I am telling you, she's a witch. Hey. Even at that, Papa, she still needs help. In fact, I don't understand the reason why Mike has refused to take care of her. The way she did to him and the siblings when their parents died. Oh. You are now confessing it. Yes. Chinedu, you are confessing it with your mouth. I'm telling you, Chinedu. Let them be. Leave them with their problem to sort it out by themselves. Yes. Chinedu, we don't have any relationship with them at all. At all. I'm sorry, Papa, I cannot. Apart from the fact that Mike made me who I am today, Victor, his brother, is my best friend. He's mm. affecting me partially. Let me go and see the poor widow and find out the problem. If it's financial, I will try my best. If it's spiritual, I'll get a pastor to pray for her. They are warrior. A powerful man of God. Yes. They are warrior. Please. I'll see you later. So why am I swear? You want to be for the Christmas? Pray a warrior to my amus. He wants to go and see that Amos. That witchcraft, that is where he's going to. Papa, leave him let him go. Yes, again. 
Apa ni aku gawan? Apa ni juga putus? Apa? Casket and all that. When we all know that this woman died on the cross, we all know that this woman died due to negligence. We need to My elders, Brother Victor, I want to beg us all to so allow Mama rest in peace. Whoever that wants to bury her in marble, gold or silver, should feel free to do so. But all I can say is, the dead cannot say thank you. Give him the go ahead to bury a woman he practically killed. Honey, huh? we don't have a choice for now. No matter what happened, he's still my cousin. I wish he knew how bitter the villagers are towards him. 
I wish he could hear what they say and think about him. <laughs> what are they saying? Are they not the same people he's been spending all his money on? From all we've been hearing, he has spent millions of naira for over 20 young men of this community just to enable them to invest in various trades. Meanwhile, his blood, they're starving. Especially Iche Magnus's son, Chinedu, whom he gave $20 million to start up a business. $20 million? Uh -huh. <gasps> Maria, hmm? after it was $20,000. Yeah. Does it really matter? Eh? What matters is that he's busy taking care of other people while your mother died hungry and in pain. I would have loved to attend. But that family have a bad habit that I don't know. And what would that be? Ha! Faith, they are very, very unreasonable. Very, very ungrateful. Ha! Maria! Onya Koko! How do you mean? Can you imagine them mm -hmm. being angry because their breadwinner is helping out other young men in our community? Imagine! Do you blame them? Do you blame them? The man is busy. Helping outsiders and refuses to help his own people. Do you blame them? <laughs> Faith, mm -hmm. why are you standing as if you're not happy about the turnout of events? Eh? After all, your own brother Chinidu is one of his beneficiaries. Hmm? My real idea. I'm happy. I'm happy. But then, let the man learn how to help his own people. Eh? Let him concentrate on helping his own family. Can't you see? They are suffering. They are suffering. Mm. Yes! Hey, mm -hmm. you are right. Uh -huh. mm. See, eh? that man called Mike is very wicked. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Now you're talking. Uh -huh. mm. I'm off to the barrier. Mm. Mm. See you. Uh -huh. Yes. You're
You think I have all it takes to be happy in this life? Hmm? You, you, you think I'm happy? No, how can I be happy? How can a full grown potent man be happy when he cannot touch a woman? When he cannot share the pleasures of a woman's body? Let alone bring forth children from her. How can I be happy, my boy? How? How? One of us is missing. Where is Michael? Great one. Great master. Michael seeks to withdraw his membership of the Great Brotherhood. Perhaps you did not inform him of the consequences in that direction. I did, Great One. I did. But his anger would not let him understand. His commitment to Great Amoma supersedes every emotional consideration. Let him be warned. Whoever, whosoever challenges great Amama to a fight sets his soul on fire. Great Amama! Great Amama! Great Amama! Great Amama! When a child refuses to heed to advice or follow instructions, he will have himself to blame, as he will pay dearly for his ignorance. I have not defaulted any rules. But I don't just want to continue with the brother because it has done me more harm than good. How dare you? How dare you claim to be righteous when your countless sins stare you in the face? First, you let your money touch your brother's hand. But now, you dare to betray the brotherhood by opting out. You know, ever since I was born, I have not given a copy to anyone bloody related to me. Not even when it was needed to save the life of my aunt and my nephew. Perhaps your wife did. Amuma, the great god of wealth, has asked me to tell you, Michael D.K., that for the 40 rules number three and seven of this great order, you shall die. Please be 
with confidence, I report on you. But I'm having access to my wealth. I wanted to run back home simply because my brother Mike refused to sponsor my academics anymore. But all thanks to my brother, Victor, who advised me to stay back, combine my studies with a job. I've got so kind. I'm a graduate. Hmm? I'm not only a graduate, I work with one of the biggest hospitals in the UK. Yay! Yay. I'm fine. <laughs> and um, I'm one of their highest paid nurses. Are you serious? Hi. So I is small Mary of yesterday. Small now a graduate. Small Mary. And working in a very big hospital. Chai. Uh, Cheers, brother. Chai. <laughs> Chai. Cheers, brother. My fiance, Mike. When I met him, and I told him everything about my family and about all of you. He decided to come down here and make his intentions known. Nah. Are you serious? Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's welcome anytime, any day. <laughs> uh, hey, brother. Knowing that you have ideas about cars, Mark has decided to put you in charge of his car stand here in Nigeria, where you work as his partner. Mm -hmm. Yes, actually he stays in UK, but he's the owner of Mark Motors Nigeria Limited. Wait, oh. your Mark is the owner of Mark Motors Limited? Yes. Hey, Chai. Ch chai, yo, Chai. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. God is so Yes. Amen. So Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. I'm being yes. an orphan. I'm being the only child. He'd be pleased to have all of us as his family. Oh. <laughs> Hi. That'll be wonderful. Yeah. That's so nice. He's mm. alright, he's welcome anytime, any day. Mm. Yeah. I miss home though, but I miss Auntie. I wish Auntie was here. Yes. We all feel the same way here, but we give God all the glory. is not medically related and then I should take him home and watch him die? Oh no, please. I wouldn't possibly wish him dead. I'm just trying to be helpful here. There's nothing we can do for him if we keep him here. Alright? I think you should just try and get across to his family. You know? And, and this is Mr. Victor he keeps insisting to see. I think his recovery is somehow um, linked to this man. So please, madam, calm down. Alright? Please. Sorry, excuse me. Victor. 
beg you in God's name. And all that you hold sacred, please. Just come and see your brother. He wants to see you. He is dying. He is dying. My son was warned and I held sacred. Your husband's wickedness claimed his life. And Tsubako was another person I held sacred. But your husband let her die. And tell me, tell me one reason, just one reason, why I should care about him. I know all of this, Victor. I know all of this. I know. But one thing I want to beg you, be, please. But one thing I want to beg you, is that you cannot pay evil for evil. That's exactly what I don't want to do. Paying evil for evil. So that's why I said he should just let me be. I don't want to have anything to do with him. I just want to be left alone. Please. And I'm sick and tired of all of you trying to make me look like a devil here. What you want to do now is to paint me bad, make me look like I'm the devil, right? No, no, okay. No, well, go ahead. No, don't. If you want to see me, you should come and see me here. Look anyway. Hey. Through the help of your brother, I became what I am today. But I am not happy with what is going on. Now, you must forgive him. Please. Chinedu. You don't know what Mike did to me. I don't think you want to know. So if Mike is the issue we came here to discuss. Please forget it. Please. But you cannot lock your heart against him. His redemption is in your hand. Despite all he has done to you, you must save him. There is only one way out, and that is God. A few days after we arrived in South Africa with my childhood friend Johnson, I was arrested and put in prison. I was there for two years until help came to me through a friend, Philip. 
he brought me back to Nigeria. And when I came back, having nothing to show, on my journey to South Africa, I was ashamed of coming back here, remembering how my brother and my auntie suffered so much for me. And the expectation they have. I stayed away from home. So, my friend, Philip, is very rich. So I asked him to introduce me to his line of business. Why did you summon that empty soul to the abode of Amoma? Great one. He is my friend. His name is Mike. He seeks to dine on the great table of Amuma. Great Amuma, the bosom of mercy, is ready to accept him if he is ready to go through the value of wealth. Is he ready? Great one, he is ready. He's ready. He's ready. Great Amuma. Great Amoma. Great Amoma. Tonight, we add yet another soul to this great brother. Amoma. The giver of wealth. We'll shower you with wealth if your sacrifice is accepted. Bring forth your sacrifice. questions before I sold my soul to the devil. <sighs> All I wanted was to put smiles on the faces of the people that I love, especially my brother that has 
done so much for me. So, when I made the money, I relocated all of you to the city. The money I gave to my brother Victor to start his business, he started having problems. And I too started having problems. I went back to the brotherhood to ask questions. You are the cause of your predicaments. Relocating your family to the city and helping them, spending money on them without asking questions is a capital offense. Be saying, But, my lord, they are the only reasons why I sold my soul to the great Amun, the god of wealth. Making them comfortable is the only reason why I wanted to be wealthy. Mike, henceforth, you cannot render help to anybody that is lovely related to you. Any more attempt, I repeat, any more attempt to help them will claim your life. Before I entered the Brotherhood, I didn't know one of the consequences will be that I will not help any of my family members. That is why I could not give money again to help anybody. Even when my nephew and my aunt were sick, I couldn't do anything. I just wanted to remain alive. And this taught me that true salvation from poverty can never come from Satan. It can only come from God. I wanted to save my family from poverty and yet I couldn't. I decided I will opt out from the Brotherhood. But before then, my good-hearted wife took my money and gave it to my brother. And the Brotherhood struck me with this sickness and said I will die. I'm not confessing to attract any sympathy. I am confessing because I want my family at least to forgive me so that I can die in peace. Oh no! You will not die. You will not die because the Bible says that he that confesses and forsakes his sin shall obtain mercy unless you are not willing to accept Christ as your Savior. Are you willing? Yes, I am. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I am the Lord that He led thee. I am the Lord your My word and heal your disease. I am the Lord. I
Oh,